This video is sponsored by unlockthatphone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier worldwide. Visit unlockthatphone.com for more What's information. What's up guys, Jared back. So uh, I have a tasty treat for you guys today in the form of a custom ROM called Gummy ROM. That's right, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably aware of Gummy ROM. It's available on several different devices, especially the Galaxy S4 and others. Um, but now it's available for your Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 3. Um, I actually pulled this from the T-Mobile forums and um, they've since uh, the second nightly, I believe, that I'm on right now. Um, it's compatible with the Canadian Galaxy Note 3. Um, I would imagine it's obviously compatible with the N9005 uh, International Galaxy Note 3. Obviously, the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3. Um, I don't know if folks uh, with the AT&T Galaxy Note 3 will have success flashing it or not, but it can't hurt. Just make sure you do a backup first. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and show you this insanely action-packed, or action-packed, <laughs> uh, feature-packed ROM. So here it is. Uh, more on this lock screen stuff and some of my status bar um, features uh, down the road here. Here, but uh, jumping into the notification or application tree, you'll notice there really isn't anything to write home to mom about. Um, so what we're going to do actually is mm, first, first, let me go ahead and point out first. I have to uh, take my hat off. I'm not going to though. Um, for the developers um, making the launcher work properly. Uh, and let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So uh, previously, lately, I should say with um, custom AOSP ROMs, uh, the launcher hasn't been working, but you know, Google now, okay, that's cool. But the problem was is that every time I grabbed an icon, I tried to drag it over to the right to create another home screen. Um, it wouldn't. But now, check this out, it does. Now, I'm not saying that Gummy ROM, because Gummy ROM is actually brand new to the Galaxy Note 3, but I'm just saying other uh, AOSP ROMs, it just didn't work and it drove me friggin' nuts and I couldn't understand why after several nightlies they still hadn't fixed it. Um, but Gummy ROM, it's working right now. And it's only the second nightly, so that's impressive. Uh, so now, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. So, uh, with a lot of different custom AOSP ROMs, of course, you're gonna have a dedicated section in the uh, settings menu here uh, for all the different customizations. Um, but just before before we jump into those, I just want to show you briefly some of the different ones in, say, for instance, sound and display. Uh, so in sounds here, we do have this advanced option. So we've got all these great options in here, Sif, save headset, volume, rock, uh, volume rocker, uh, music controls. Awesome. Those are ones that I always look for, and that should kind of be a standard. Uh, we do have ascending ringtone and some different customizations for that. And then down here at the bottom, we've got our camera shutter sound and um, volume adjust sound options down there at the bottom. So that's cool. Uh, display. Nothing really cool until oh, LCD density. So yes, you do have the option to change LCD density to your desired density. <laughs> So uh, as well as we have battery light, we have the um, pulse notification lights, volume rocker wake, and of course the cast screen option there as well. Um, so enough of that, let's go ahead. Oh, I suppose maybe one more thing, developer options down here at the bottom, and you'll notice that we do have the option to use art. I know a lot of you guys are always asking me that question, so there it is. Um, let's back out of there, and let's get into the actual settings now. So gummy interface, this is where a lot of the magic happens, the sweet treats. Uh, status bar, so we've got status bar here you can change around the clock and date um, the alignment and so on uh, battery icon as you can see we've got a bunch of different uh, icon styles in here as well so I'm uh, actually using the dotted circle with percentage as you can see up there at the top which I think looks pretty sharp um, back out of there and we've got battery bar if you do want that as an option um, and we've got these things called breathing uh, breathing missed call breathing SMS and breathing voicemail I haven't had an, uh, an opportunity to actually see that in action yet um, but I'm going to assume that when it's in your status bar, it probably just kind of pulses. I would imagine, otherwise I guess they would call it pulsing notifications. So I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm still waiting for somebody to uh, email me on this account and uh, or text message me. Um, I'm lonely. So anyways, let's move on from there and get out of there. And we've got the notification drawer, all kinds of options in here, carrier label options, uh, clock click actions, um, style and so on style yeah so you can change around the background transparency as well as the notification transparency i don't really see the point in notification transparency because then you can't actually see what the hell the notification is well you would but you know what i mean um anyway so let's go ahead and jump out of there and let's jump into our quick settings here as you can see lots of different quick settings uh tiles customization options in here uh enable fast toggle as well as some custom toggles which i actually haven't myself played around with because i don't really necessarily need custom toggles i'm content with the ones that are available but there's custom toggle actions available for you if you want them uh backing out of there we've got advanced gummy options that was just the first part there so we've got hardware keys lots of different actions in here um, just to demonstrate I actually made it so that uh, when I long press my menu button you'll see what happens it activates my torch and press it again and it turns off so I thought that was kind of cool um, 
And then backlight, yeah, so that's cool. Um, navigation, yes, we do actually have the option to add a navigation bar. I'm not personally a huge fan of adding a navigation bar onto a di display when there's already physical buttons that you can use. I just think it takes up too much of the screen real estate unnecessarily, but I know some of you guys like it, so it's there and the developers have added it, so that's cool. Uh, moving out of there, and we jump into the power menu, so obviously this is where you can start doing things. Um, you can customize additional options in your your power menu here. Um, as you can see, I've got calculator, so if I wanted to, I can go ahead and long press that, and I can just click on the calculator and jumps me right into there if I wanted to. Uh, while we're actually sitting here in the recents, you'll notice we also have this clear all button up there at the top. So uh, let's back into there, and let's jump into screen security. I don't think there's too much. Yeah, there isn't really anything too exciting in here. Lock screen, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, so lock screen here. Okay, so we've got lots of different. Um, long press button actions just from the lock screen itself as well as active display which is just like the Moto X thing where when you are on the lock screen or your device is turned off you get a notification and email things like that it'll pop up on your display um, and aside from that um, we've also got this uh, lock screen notifications. Now, I think that the two are pretty much the same. Um, lock screen notification, obviously, when you receive a notification, your lock screen will light up and then you can see your notifications and read them from that point on. So I don't think that it would be, it would make much sense to have active display and lock screen notifications on at the same time, but those both of those are options. So you can, of course, choose which one you like the best. Uh, slider targets and shortcuts. We've got a style here, check this out. So right now, it's set on the default, the default ring, right? But if I change it to gummy check this out oops sorry got to put the phone back in the frame there now we've got this cool little star the gummy star so i thought that was kind of neat uh let's go ahead and back out of there and slider torch rotate battery around lock ring which i have um and then we've got do, 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 was that it i think that was it wasn't it yeah that's it Yes, that's it. Okay, so moving on from there, we've got uh, advanced options as well. So you've got specific device options specific to the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So you can jump in with uh, advanced here. So you can see we all all kinds of options in here for you guys to play around with, as well as the more. So which is basically just the launch music application when you plug in a headset or whatever. Um, and then we've got performance. So this is where you'll be make all of your uh, CPU modifications, your processor, underclock, overclock, change your IO scheduler, all that cool fun stuff. And of course we have app ops. So thank you very much for that. And then from there we have general gummy options with just a few options to polish it off with. And that's about it. Um, so far it seems pretty good. I have had some issues with the camera, although it does work. I noticed that when I changed the filters, because it has filter options actually, I suppose we can always show you guys. Uh, jump into the camera here and we jump into, and you'll notice we've got that little button option there, color effect. We've got all these different color effects. So I noticed that when I went to like, let's just say for instance, sepia, just as an example, or actually maybe that would have been a bad one. Let's see if it happens. When I go back to none after changing, um, earlier what it was doing, it was like totally making all the colors weird. So I think the camera still has a couple of uh, tweaks to go through, but um, other than that, the ROM seems to be doing just fine. Some people have complained about um, battery life on it. Again, it's still only the second nightly available. So if you are having battery issues, maybe just flash a different kernel, it's up to you. Anyways, guys, that's it for this ROM. As always, I'll be posting a link in the description below to the ROM itself, as well as following this video up with a how to install video for those of you that need a visual aid. But that's it. Thanks as always for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.